Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the expression um, definitions. So for example we've got an expression here saying sum of cases uh, and we're multiplying it by minus 1 to give us a positive. And if we click this plus button we've got a lot, a lot of different options here so we can change the background colour, um, text colour, format of the text. If it's a pie chart we can pop out a part of the, the section of the pie chart. If it's a bar chart we can use offset to kind of make it look like a waterfall chart. Change the line style from a continuous line to a dotted line or a dashed line and to show specific values. So I'm just going to get started. At the moment we have we're already, I've done this in a previous video showing how to change the background colour based on the value. So in this we're saying if the value is less than 5000 we want the colour to be green otherwise make the color yellow so for example if you click OK you can see it's above 5000 so the line is yellow it's below 5000 so the line is green so we could we could just change this to red and you can see now we've got a yellow and a red line I'll we'll change that back there to green Um, I'm just going to go back and highlight the, the expression and I'm going to tick values on data points. Click apply. As you can see now we have got the, the values for each data point. Now if we go back into the definitions of the expression and in text color we could say um, we could say black or we could say RGB so let's say two five five comma zero comma one two eight. Click apply. You can see it's changed the black from the previous one. Click apply. It's now changed to like a uh, like a pinkish color. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna change that now to white. So just white open brackets close brackets. Click apply. And now we're back to our original. Life. In fact, if we if we get rid of this. It will give us the default, which is white anyway. So, in fact, I'll put in, I'll just put it white just to show that we've. Next, when we go on to the text format, so if we say single quote, single quote, I'm just going to go into the expression. And then the less than sign and the greater than sign. And then in between just put in B to make it bold. So I minimize this now. I'll just click OK. When I click apply the data point should turn bold. So you can see they've gone bold. Within the same two single quotes we can do the same again. Uh, less than, greater than and then within the less than and greater than say I for italic. Click apply. And then we can use the same for greater than less than and U for underline. So you can see it's made the changes there. Um, so for Pi pop out, we're going to just switch to a previous sheet. So we go into the properties of this uh, Pi chart and then click our drop down uh, for our expression definitions. Choose Pi pop out and then just say. We know the dimension is room, and um, I know that the rooms are one, two, and three. So if I say we want the scratch the expression, if I just say room equals one, click apply, the pie chart should then separate. So if I click apply, you can see. This part of the pie represents room 1. Change that to 2 and click apply. And then separate this part here so we know that's the representing room 2. And finally room 3 which rep represents. So it's just a, a visual representation um, for your pie charts to kind of show one value. I'm just going to flick back then to the line chart I'm going to just to show the next one which is 
require offset I'm going to change this line chart to a bar chart and then I'm going to go back into expression so you can see it's changed here I'm going to go into bar offset and in fact I'm just going to copy the expression bar offset and paste and now you get something that looks like a waterfall chart so that's how to get that effect the next one is line style so there's four different line styles um, and there's a you can format the width of the line so for example again we can put this all in uh, single quotes we could say um, first of all we need to change back to a line chart Go back into the expression definition for a line style and we're going to do a couple of things here we're going to say we want again the greater than or equal sign we're going to say S2 now S2 is basically um, a dotted line so I click OK and click apply you can see we now have a uh, we now have the dotted line here we can change from S2 to S3 click apply we should have um, sorry the previous one was a dashed line S, S2 is a dashed line, S3 is a dotted line S4 is dashed and dotted so we can click apply um, just going to get rid of the value points just to make it kind of stand out a little bit more so again we're in line style I can choose S4 and then I can also choose the width so uh, W represents the width and the width goes from 0.5 to um, up to 8 I believe so if I say 0.5 so width 0.5 within the greater than or equal to sign click apply you can see that the, the line becomes much smaller if I change it to WA which is the thickest line and click apply you can see the line is much thicker so I can change this let's say back to 1 click apply so that's using the line style again you could change it to S1 and the width be 1 um, or you can change the width to 2 make it much thicker um, so we leave it at that for a second and again the show value so we could either say copy the expression let's uh, use an if statement so if is greater than or equal to 5000 Actually, we don't need it. I don't even think we need an if. Um, actually, we just we use column. So column one. So we only have one column. So and that's the force expression. So we say column one is uh, greater than or equal to five thousand. And you can see we now have the. We're showing the values for anything over five thousand, or we can go the other way. We could say is less than 3000 and click apply and we only get the, the, the bottom two values and again each time it's picking up the text former because we wanted a bold italic and underlined we could actually just get rid of just make them bold and you can see them if our, uh, the values are here so that's I think it, We've gone through simple. We could, you could have more complicated if statements. If it's a certain value, we want the bold. If it's less than a certain value, we want the italic. If it's, you get, you kind of get the picture. Um, so these are what I've shown you. It's just simple versions. So again, it's background color, text color, text format, white pop out, bar offset, uh, line style, and show value. So. That's just a, a couple of tips on um, expression definitions or expression formats, if, if you want to call it that. Um, I hope that helps, and I'll see you next video. Cheers, guys.